Naturalis Biodiversity Center Dutch, Nederlands Centrum voor Biodiversiteit Naturalis is a national museum of natural history and a research center on biodiversity in Leiden, Netherlands. The museum is temporarily closed due to renovations, but the research facilities are still available. The new institute will open mid-2019. Although its current name and organization is relatively recent, its history can be traced back to the early 1800s. Its collections contain approximately 37 million specimens, one of the largest natural history collections in the world. In late 2016 the center closed its main building for renovations, with plans to reopen in late 2018. Temporary exhibitions are open in the Pest House entrance building during the renovations. History The beginnings of Naturalis go back to the creation of the National Museum of Natural History by King William I on August 9, 1820. In 1878, the geological and mineralogical collections of the museum separated into two institutions. These remained distinct until the merger of the Rijksmuseum van Natuurlijke Historie, abbreviated RMNH, and the Rijksmuseum van Geologie en Mineralogie, abbreviated RGM, in 1984 as the Nationaal Natuurhistorisch Museum (NNM) or National Museum of Natural History. In 1986, it was determined that the institution should become a public museum, and a new building was designed by Fons Verheijen. The building's reception area incorporated the 1657-1661 Pesthaus, designed by Hybert Cornelizoon van Dievenlucht. Completed in 1998, it was opened on April 7, 1998 by Queen Beatrix. The new building cost about 60 million euros, making it the second most expensive museum building in the Netherlands. As of 2010, the National Museum of Natural History Naturalis further combined with the Zoological Museum Amsterdam ZMA of the University of Amsterdam, and the Dutch National Herbaria at the Universities of Leiden, Amsterdam and Wageningen, to form the Nederlands Centrum voor Biodiversiteit NCB Naturalis. The combined institute was formally opened as part of the International Year of Biodiversity 2010 by Ronald Plasterk and Gerda Verberg. As of 2012, the name became the Naturalis Biodiversity Center. Naturalis has partnered with ETI Bioinformatics in support of the Catalog of Life call, and is working with the Global Biodiversity Information Facility. Funding is in place to support digitization of the massed collections. As of 2015, further renovation and expansion is planned, with a proposed design from Noodling's Riedek Architecten to be completed in 2018. However, the Pest House will no longer be part of the complex. Topic. Collection The current museum is known for the numerous objects in its collections. Prior to the merger with the Zoologisch Museum Amsterdam and National Herbarium of the Netherlands, there were approximately 10 million zoological and geological specimens in the Naturalis collection. Following the merger with the collections of the Zoologisch Museum Amsterdam and National Herbarium of the Netherlands in 2010-12, there are now approximately 42 million specimens, 14,600,000 insects, 8 million mollusca. 1,600,000 other invertebrates, 615,000 vertebrates, 380,000 birds, 125,000 fish, 60,000 reptiles and amphibians, 50,000 mammals, 9,100,000 fossils, 500,000 rocks and minerals, 4,900,000 vascular plants, 705,000 mosses, 282,000 lichens. 135,000 ferns, 350,000 fungi, 250,000 algae, 12,000 galls, 6,000 slime molds, 121,000 wood samples, 140,000 books, 14,000 scientific journal titles, 57,000 prints and drawings, 13,000 maps. 91,500 microfiche 
310.000 photographs, slides and glass negatives The largest part of the collections are stored in a 60-metre-high tower, a landmark in Leiden, opened in April 1998. Some parts of the collections are stored in a depot in the former museum building at the Romsteg in the city centre of Leiden. Topic. Travelers Among the collections at Naturalis are the papers and field notes of a number of early travelers and naturalists, including the following Heinrich Bowie 1794 Pierre Metard Deard 1794 Eltio Alagondas Forsten 1811 Johann Cohenrod van Hassel, 1797–1823 Ludwig Horner, 1811–1838 Franz Wilhelm Junghun, 1809–1864 Peter Willem Korthals, 1807–1892 Heinrich Kuhl, 1797–1821 Heinrich Christian Macklot, 1799–1832 Solomon Muller, 1804 to 1863; Peter Van Oort, 1804 to 1834; Carl Anton Schweiner, 1817 to 1851; Alexander Zippelius, 1797 to 1828. Topic: Exhibitions. Topic. Permanent exhibitions The museum has several permanent exhibitions Nature Theatre Animals, Plants, Fungi, One-Celled Organisms, Bacteria, Stones, and Minerals, An Impression of Nature in All Its Various Forms Primeval Parade A parade of fossils shows the history of the Earth and the development of life Earth Games and Signs inform the visitor about the Earth's complexities Life, it displays how plants and animals live and survive on Earth. Earth Inside, for children and their parents to discover in a playful way how nature works. Biotechnology, games and movies show the visitor how essential DNA is to all life processes. Treasure Chamber, special security and storage conditions protect the precious gemstones, including a collection that once belonged to the Dutch King William I, and the mounted skins of animals that became extinct over the past few hundred years. Topic. Temporary exhibitions T. Rex in Town Exhibition of Tricks, a Tyrannosaurus Skeleton, September 10, 2016 to June 5, 2017 Topic. Buildings Topic. Collections Topic. Visitors Naturalis had an estimated 285,000 visitors and was the 15th most visited museum of the Netherlands in 2013. The museum had a record number of 339,550 visitors in 2015.